How many hams does it take to set up a 20 meter antenna? Yeah, Let's see, one, two, three, four. Sure. I'm not involved in this, so count me out. I supplied the analyzer. I just put the string in the tree. No, actually, I String in the tree, all right. String in the tree. That still counts. Yeah. That's a total of four hams so far involved in this mess. You need a hook or you got that? My gosh. I just tied around. Are you guys ever going to get on the air? Okay, give me a hook. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. <laughs> All right, folks. Shit's about to get real. I'm out here with some other YouTubers that I think you might know. Let's go meet them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say it. This is my favorite antenna, Christian. <laughs> Chuck, KK6, USY. Hey, it's fresh. What is up? Whose channel are we on? It doesn't matter. It's Ham Tank Ninja. Radio! Welcome to Tank Radio! HamNinja.com. Come on, people. Tank Radio! HamNinja.com. What's this? Ham Radio 2.0? Something like that? Yeah, I don't think so. You know what I what call you doing, it? Jason? Uh, H2O. I don't know. I just H2O. For some... H2O. I like it. I'm trying to figure Everybody out how to... About. I'm trying to remember how to work this meter. All right, so Jason, you're trying to tune up or, or basically check the SWR on a Pactina, uh, the Pactina NFED half wave. Okay. So he's got if some uh, hold... feed line going over here. There's tank set up. Tank, tank's all ready to do a little video of him coming out of the tent. Um, so Jason is going into this uh, Pactina. Here, let's get the uh, logo right. And uh, I think Frank threw an Arbor's line up over this tree here. And uh, they're going to do a little bit of testing here. He's going to, has it going to a IC705? And so they're going to have a little bit of fun out here. So once, once he gets that plug in. Javi. Yo. 11 meters. Just having fun. W6 TNT. Yes, sir. He's a good Ready to roll, roll having Ready fun. It's like having a 2.1 on right. 11 meters. <laughs> and, uh, so it's a little high. Okay. So Frank, then after what, I'm what done are you setting up today? I everything, then I do a, I'll do a single band. So it's single. Yeah. Frank the Tank. I have been lazy this trip. I am using all their radios, and they're going to huff it up the Soda Mountain Peak for me, and I just got to walk up there and utilize them. <laughs> all right. So, and I think Adam's going to tie a harness on you and drag you up right hey, hey, yes yes yeah that's the way to roll jason told me you're a pack meal a pack, pack meal? meal no if that ain't i ain't packing your stuff no. <laughs> i'm an old man <laughs> i brought the whiskey i brought that's that's what important is the ah, whiskey the whiskey the summit whiskey the summit whiskey all right cool well we're up here at uh, turnbill lake campground and uh so i'm with the guys we're waiting for a k6ark to arrive uh, Red Summit RF is here. We'll see him here in a few minutes. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's uh, setting up his tent or something. NJ7B. Hey! Charlie <laughs> here. November Juliet 7th Victor. Red Summit RF. And like and subscribe. Can you can you help my channel out here? Jesus! Oh, and like and subscribe to Christian's channel. It took a little bit of prompting, but he got it right. <laughs> Amazing. That's because I never do it on my channel. You know what? You need some tequila. That's your problem. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So and we're doing a little camp out here for a few days. We're going to do some uh, soda, some poda, and if you do both at the same time, which you certainly can, it's called spoda. That looks really short. So uh, anyway, these guys are going to have a lot of fun setting up their radios. I may have to break out some of my gear, but uh, this should turn out to be a, a good time up here. Next up, somebody's gonna cook some dinner. Here, we got burgers. We got ready for, to eat burgers. Oh, sweet burgers. And of course, it's Frank at the grill as always, right? Tank radio, my classic station. The one I operate the most. They make a lot of really great stuff. All right. And they sell them All right. So you hungry? Like I'm starving. So All cheese, right. no cheese. Muffin. Pop your seed muffin. Breakfast of champions. Adam brought up a whole bunch of food. So we're rigged. 
I've just converted my tent vehicle to back to vehicle. We're going to go up into the Yosemite National Park. Everybody's been coffeeed up. And because it is a YouTuber's bunch, everybody has cameras. Problem with me driving is I'm stuck with these guys. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> You're a lucky dude, man. <laughs> All right, so we're heading out um, for a little trek here to do uh, some parks on the air with the rest of the YouTuber group here. Got Charlie bringing up the rear, making sure I don't get lost. And uh, yeah, beautiful day at rain last night. A medium heavy, no thunderstorms though. Um, so it was, it was nice. So ham radio operators, tend to be communicators, right? Normally we start off with sideband and there's a lot of talk and well, now you've got the YouTubers group, which takes being a communicator to a whole nother level. So a lot of yakking up here. Nice, cool hike today. Led by Adam. K6 ARK. Ah, nice. Nice little place here. Yeah. Sounds great. I mean, the scenery's okay. Scenery's okay. What's it going on? You know. What do you think? Cameras everywhere. That's pretty. What do you expect? Yeah, it's you, the YouTubers group. That's right. YouTubers bunch. Sorry. Let's check out this like uh, water flowing over granite. Like That's kind of cool. So let's walk over here and check that out. So gorgeous up here. The weather's perfect. As long as it doesn't start pouring rain on us. Oh, I am. I'm rigged for rain in case. I brought some extra radios to make sure everybody can get their poda. I've got the station set up and um, popped the 891 here on the old uh, Chameleon m -Pass. and uh, I brought a tuner because it always just guarantees a good match, good power out. And uh, I've got worked three stations so far on 40 meters. Um, we have not spotted in the park because you can't get cell service right now. But uh, anyway, yeah, here's my, my uh, antenna and just a beautiful little view over here. So, uh, yeah, it's working out well. Never thought I'd see the day. But here is the Soda Yoda. Doing a little poda. Getting it done. It's K6ARK. Who? <laughs> Roll. Uh -huh. Roll. Over here. We've got uh, Chuck. What kind of antenna you got set up there, Chuck? It's a doublet. Speaker wire antenna, kind of. Oh, cool. Doublet. All right, really so good. he's got the feed line going up here. He's got basically a little twin lead he's got going up. And uh, he's tied into the top of this pole. And he does what I do. He tied it up in the tree. Sweet. It'll tune. This radio is 10 to 10 to 80. It'll tune all those. Sweet. I don't know how good. It's not really cut for 80 though. It's a little short for that. But I was picking up good strong signals with it. I don't know. 10 to 80. It, it, one to one. Good. One to one. Wow. Yeah. But this thing will tune a wet noodle. Yeah. So. KX2. You got to love the tuner on that baby. Beautiful, beautiful day up here. So we got three stations up and running. Um, well, I'm kind of running. So. Are you on? Yeah. Are you guys on 20 still? And uh, we got. NJ7V over there, he's uh, he's completely perplexed about this whole POTA thing. He doesn't, he doesn't know what's going on. Soda guys, we're not very smart. The POTA master at work. I've, I've made zero contacts. No way. Yeah, I scanned up and down the band. There's nobody on the band right now. At least not from, not that we're hearing. 
Oh, good so, Chuck made a contact with one guy on this frequency, but. Well, I found CQ a... photo, CQ photo, CQ parks on the air from Kilo Charlie Five Hotel Whiskey Bravo calling CQ and standing by. Soda. Something I got to come up with a good name. The Soda Hulk, but he's doing photo today. King of King of Soda Arizona. Soda Arizona. Arizona chapter. Red summit on right? You're getting it done. to sneak uh, up on it. I'm not having any luck, Chris. <laughs> K6TNT. Yeah. Trying to get it done. Uh, out here in the wild. CQ, CQ, two meter sideband. Anyone out there, anywhere, anywhere, anybody. K6TNT. That's a wrap. We're back on the trail. Heading to the extraction point. Adam got uh, a POTA activation. Sideband and CW. I got three contacts sideband, nothing CW. I didn't stick with it super long, but we're going to head up the valley a little bit, set up in a different area, see how that works out. All right, Javi, K6 yo, TNT. Yo. Good morning. Where are we going? Gaylor Peak, Yosemite. Oh. <laughs> All right, NJ7B, Charlie. Damn, it's early, man. It's early. Where are we going? Up there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna follow these two guys. Let's get cracking. We're going to Gaylord Peak. Um, it's about probably about 55 degrees out here, 7 a.m. And uh, we parked on the just outside of the park, so we can walk in, and uh, the trailhead starts inside the park because it's free. <laughs> it's free. The national park is open, but the force is closed so we're limited on which summits we can do off a little pit stop to get us ready to roll on the mountain and uh the trail starts right here from the parking lot just inside the uh the park so started almost 10,000 so it's a bit of a workout right from the beginning not bad though. Pretty. And it's cool. Probably about 50. 250 feet <laughs> elevation. Yeah. yeah. It's a short hike today. It's only a thousand feet of elevation gain, so. According to Javi, we're we're a quarter of the way there. Elevation gain wise. This is Start over. That was me. Oh, okay. <laughs> take, take two. I'll let Charlie uh, voice over my video here. Charlie here, uh, back with the, the group. Just want to introduce everybody. I'm sure you know Christian Claiborne. He's the uh, Ham Ninja. Dot com. Or not the Ham Ninja. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. yeah. Ham Ninja dot com. Uh, N1CLC. We've got Javi with us. K6 TNT. TNT. He's explosive, man. Need oxygen. <laughs> O2. Well, it's a steep one, but we're going to get to the top and um, divide and conquer. Got to the, a few guys that left at camp. Adam, K6ARK, and uh, Jason, uh, what is it, KC5HWB, uh, and Tank Radio. Uh, they're all kind of still sleeping, probably. They don't like yeah. getting up early, but uh, they're going to get moving here in a minute, they said, and uh, head over to another peak. We may be able to get summit to summit with them. So uh, onward, let's uh, continue the torture. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I caught my breath, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's 500 feet again. Pretty much matches the planning. 500 feet, of, or excuse me, 1,000 feet per mile. So it's pretty steep. Trail. Uh, we're going to leave the trail here. Head up this ridge here. Not sure if you can see that. And I think we'll go up the right side. Gaylor, I believe that's it. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. Boys are just behind me. Beautiful day. I'll uh, I'll show you right on the chart where I'm at. Here. Oh, beautiful day. 
there are a couple hikers behind us, but we're the only ones out right now up here. This is why I do soda. Absolutely gorgeous. A little cloud bank over there, but I don't think we're gonna get any rain today. Slight chance. But after we hit this peak, uh, we're gonna run over and hit another one. Maybe third after that I might do, we'll see. Ooh, a nice little view coming up here. Let me leave the camera on. Oh yeah, nice little reveal. Yeah, look at that. Nicely lit too, the rising sun. A little bit of an angle modeling that mountain. Ah. That's what I'm talking about. And looking down in the little valley there. That's real pretty. Here come my pals. All right, we're pretty stoked. We're getting pretty close to the mountain here. Yep. We're in some pretty big talus here, but kind of similar to Dana, uh, just on the other side of the valley. Really large granite chunks of something. Seems like a bit of a trail here. Yeah, another 50 feet and we're there. Let's get her done. This mountain's not gonna activate itself. Let's get cracking. Full summit, but a good place to stop and take a look. There's Sioga Lake. And uh, Javi and Red right behind me. Oh, I don't know what the name of that little pond or uh, lake is down there, but I'll post it there, hopefully right below here. And our summit's right there. I believe we're in the AZ. I'm pretty stoked. So beautiful. No winds to speak of really versus yesterday we might have gotten blown off the mountain so yeah loving it great workout too feels good all right let's get cracking a little bit of trail here through uh, the scree stay on that keep off the vegetation and uh, we're here, man. We're up here on the, the uh, dragon's back. I'd say it's about three feet wide, maybe four or five places. Nice and safe. Big activation zone. Great views. Here's off to the east. And, uh, then off to the west, we got this. Just phenomenal, really, really nice. I'm loving it. Let's go over there, see if we can find the pen. This Red Summit RF on a Sierra Summit. Gaylor, we're at 11,000 feet and uh, just killing it up here on the hike. It's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, just gorgeous. Great views, huh, Charlie? Yeah, just super. I'm gonna set up over there, tie off to that guy and get cracking. So I'm an RF style man. Take a little tour around the horn. Yeah.
Well, uh, filled the dance card with uh, 15 contacts and I got a couple uh, unique Summit to Summits. I got Frank, Chuck, and uh, Jason over on Masonic. We're gonna head over there. I activated on 20 meters. I uh, probably got about, I don't know, 14 contacts on that. I uh, got a couple uh, on the two meter, got a few on a two meter. And uh, I believe uh, Charlie worked 40 meter. And um, not sure, I haven't talked to um, uh, K6TNT yet, so we're gonna go talk to Javi and see how he did. I think he's fully activated. He's got at least five contacts on two meter. There's a contest going on today, so it should be pretty easy to activate on sideband if you want to dial around. Oh, to say I'm totally stoked is an understatement. Just perfect weather, beautiful views. Got a uh, scattered clouds. We're at 11,000 feet. I'm loving it. So uh, we're gonna head back over to the guys here, check on on them, and uh, see how they did. Uh, as you can see, the summit. The flat part of the summit is about oh, three feet wide up here <laughs> with a slight uh, drop off and then kind of straight down over here and definitely over here. Let's look over here. So I'm going to give you not allowed to fly drones over here. So I'm sorry for those of you that do tune in to watch some of those cool drone shots, but let's take a look over the edge here and we're going to go straight down. Yeehaw! Yeah, pretty epic. Not that hard getting up here. There's a mom and uh, two of her kids with her. So they live over in Mammoth, so the kids, I think, uh, do quite a bit of hiking. Nice people. So, all right. Uh, big talus up here. But this is actually easier than Dana because the, the basketballs that we're walking over aren't moving not too bad so anyway yeah check in on charlie all right red summit rf here how'd you do charlie uh, interesting uh you'll see in the video coming out but i had uh i couldn't find my uh my uh pico palm uh key i don't know where, where it went okay maybe it's back in the truck or something like that so i pulled out the uh, brazilian mini plugged it into the mtr3b and i think the cord is not quite right for the mtr3b so because only the da paddle was working <laughs> so uh everybody in my log was uh, straight key ah <laughs> well done yeah. hey improvise, right? so so you get up here and you just improvise you do what you gotta do i've I've uh, screwed things up and just kind of wired up other things to get it work, and so that's uh, but I got that is the epitome of getting it done, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I got 20 contacts somewhere in there. Oh, awesome! Straight key. I've never run straight key, so yeah. Well, it was my first time, so <laughs> you're the man. Well done. Um, yeah, and you got some uh, FM contacts. You got three oh, over yeah. there, right? Take radio. <laughs> I got him for sure. Ham radio 2.0. So we got ham radio 2.0, tank radio. And um, Chuck, Chuck. KK6 USY, yeah, yeah. Uh, all those guys have a great uh, channel. November Julius 7 Victor Red Summit RF uh, has an awesome uh, channel where he covers not only soda but uh, equipment reviews and, and other things. He's got a bunch on different keys that he's trying out, or paddles, excuse me, I always call them keys. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, check those out, check out those other channels, and uh. Uh, yeah, have fun on ham radio. Yeah. So. Hey, what, what about you? Did you tell them about your uh, your guests you had? My guest. Your guests, the the guests over there. Oh yeah, we had three people. The mom was from uh, Italy, and I had her two kids with her. Yeah, so I did talk about that. Yeah. Really nice people. Yeah, they. Uh, so. They are. I had my NOSA key yeah. with me. Yeah, I so was, you could have borrowed that. That was my next. Uh, I, I was going to come over <laughs> and ask for it if that if this didn't work out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Looks like Javi's uh, breaking down over there, so. Yeah. There's a big uh, worldwide contest going on sideband. Okay, well. So, I didn't get any of them. I tried to answer a few of them and they they listened for about a half second for a booming channel and then they call CQ again. So, <laughs> you know, when they do that, they're not gonna hear me on 10 watts. Yeah, who cares, we don't want them anyway then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's head down. This is just epic up here, man. Yeah. Loving it. 
All right, here's Javi uh, K6 TNT. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> get the done. How many contacts do you get? Eight total. Eight total. Four and four. Four sideband HF and four local VHF simplex. Sweet. Yeah, yes. he's he's out there chasing us. The down. problem with, with or the challenge Javi had is we don't have cell service up no. here, and uh, so for us uh, Morse code guys, we just use the RBN and we're good. But the Javi had a little bit more challenge, didn't you? I found yeah. four potas. <laughs> So we, a we could have, chaser. <laughs> yeah, there's, but there's several other ways we could have gotten him spotted if needed. Um, and Javi knows CW. He just doesn't want to. He doesn't have the just nerve starting. to get up there and get on it. But he's getting there. I get headaches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's it's all right. It's all good. It's, it's a challenge. So um, right. we're gonna get a group shot, head down, and go over to Masonic, right? Yes, sir. Sounds all right. Good. Lock and load, boys. Like and subscribe, because my ego gets bigger when you do that. <laughs> The initial plan was drive up to this road that looked like no way my car could get up at quarter mile hike. Well, as it turns out, Adam gave us directions to another road that I could get up here. Yeah, we see him. KC5 and H2C. we drove all the way to the top. Isn't that right, Javi? Affirmative. All right. Easy peasy. So there's a VHF contest going on today, so Javi's going to kill it with uh, j -Pol. Um let's see we got red summit rf up there wave charlie he's gonna run hf i'm gonna run hf we've both of us have talked to the group that have left here and they're on their way into bodie so we're we're fully activated for points just uh with the hts so we're gonna have some fun up here do a little chasing javi's gonna get in the vhf contest traffic and and uh yeah we're just gonna play around beautiful let me, uh, I'm gonna get up on this little pointy hill here and give you a little 360. Oh, this is a perfect operating position. Look at this, look at this. This is gonna be the view from my shack. And uh, I'm gonna throw the drone up and uh, we'll get you a little view of the summit here. So I'm going to set up and get cracking. Okay, I had to go chasing after my chair because the wind's going from zero, and I mean complete zero, to like 20. I was picking up my antenna and then I had to go looking for my chair. Pretty funny. So, great views. Uh, a lot of QSB today, so the bands were kind of up and down. It was very, very odd. But, uh, yeah, it did okay. Uh, logged, let's see, a total of 20 contacts and uh, six summit to summits. Uh, five uniques, Summit to Summit, so got Josh and Daryl on one, that was cool. So yeah, having a good time up here. I was fully activated on FM, uh, the guys driving to Bodie, four of them, so uh, <laughs> made a quick four contacts and, and that took care of that, but uh, went out and got much more on uh, HF, CW, worked uh, Let's see, 40 meter, 20 meter, and 17 and 30 meter. Did a little chasing, had a lot of fun. So, um, let's see, Javi's up there working on some sideband contacts. And uh, so, hey, uh, Red, how'd you do? 
you get any contacts? I made some contacts, probably 15 or so, 20. All right, cool. We got a hobby just set up, just spotted in for 20. Oh, cool. He has a park to park. I always wondered about that. You're on a summit and somebody comes back park to park. You're in a park? I Lock guess. and load? Sometimes not, you know. <laughs> I would think it would be park to summit, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway. We need that. We need you poda guys to help us soda goofballs out because yeah. we're clearly kind of clueless. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. Well, anyway, this has been a fantastic day. We're gonna go down to Bodie and check that out. And uh, let's take a look at this mountaintop. Okay, before we cut away to the credits, I uh, just want to jump in here with a little bit of mail call. Uh, I wanted to thank Mike, uh, W5RST, for uh, working me summit to summit. He was on Shut-In Mountain uh, over in Arkansas, and I was on Apache Peak here in California. That was a tough day, actually. <laughs> Long hike. But uh, thanks, Mike. I love getting QSL cards, and uh, it's always a lot of fun. So... Um, if you like what you saw today, hit the like and subscribe because it makes my ego get even bigger. And who doesn't want to see that? Anyway, let's roll the credits. Thanks for watching. Take that out of my mouth. It's ham radio 2.0 and tank radio. Beautiful place. So, doing a little, uh, not to go down into main, the proper, doing a little uh, live streaming here. Right, yeah. That's what happens so when you have YouTubers. We got Adam over here. He's recording the people that are live streaming. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by the Yahoo's over here. Too funny, man. There's three people.